Persona fanbase is toxic and terrible. According to like a lot of people and a little bit inclined to agree, honestly. So this is coming from me who is quite a big Persona fan. I even have a Persona poster like right behind me, just for convenience. And um, I've played Persona 5. I'm currently in the process of playing Persona 5 Royal and Persona 4 Golden, and I've seen the Persona 3 movies. Um, and I've been told by more than a few people that I look like Joker from Persona 5. I don't really agree with that, regardless. So I'm definitely a big fan of Persona, I'd say. And I stumbled upon this this page, Persona 5 Fandom and Hate Dumb, which is kind of weird to say. It's like Femdom 2.0. I don't know, it's weird. I never actually have heard that term before. We're just going to take a look at this. Let's, uh, let's read through it. It's got some things that I slightly agree with, things I disagree with. We'll just go through it. Why they aren't looking cool. Overall, they ravage both the anime community and the gaming community. I'm not sure to what extent that's actually true, but um, regardless, fandom. One, many of the fans would spoil the series for no reason. I'm kidding, this post on Twitter can explain. I'll probably put an image of that. Um, okay, I mean, fair, but I feel like the same could be said of really any kind of fan base. Um, the only care about Persona 3, 4, and 5 that's overshadowing the first two games. In fact, if the first game didn't exist, then the already mentioned games wouldn't exist. Um, that's a very, very typical theme within the fanbase, and I mean, it's definitely true. Like, <laughs> nobody knows about Persona 1 and 2. Like, a lot of people actually think that it's just 3, 4, and 5, as if <laughs> they just started out with 3 for some reason. Um, personally, I haven't played 1 or 2 because they're on, like, like the PS2 or something like that, and I obviously don't have access to that, but, okay, that criticism's kind of valid. I would concede at least a little bit, um, but I don't think it's like a, I don't know. Uh, many of them would start whiny and idiotic flame wars over which Persona game is the best, mainly 3, 4, and 5 for obvious reasons. Okay, I mean, there's obviously going to be a lot of arguments about which game is the best. It can get a little obnoxious. So, alright, I guess we can give that to them. Make a ton of weird posts about waifus and sentais. We mean weird as in toxic to make things more toxic. They even talk about them to no end. Speaking of waifus, they start the infamous waifu wars. We bet you saw that coming. That's, that's a really funny pun. I can't argue against that. That's just true. So, fair enough, fair enough. Some of them would hate Shin Megami Tensei simply because it's not Persona, according to them. Ironically enough, the Persona series is a spin-off of Megami Tensei. Um, and ironically enough, again, they would most likely never play the SMT games and only play the Persona games. On top of that, I think that according to them, the SMT fanbase is super hot sound toxic, which is just ironic. Now, this is a point I would like to refute, I guess. Um, there, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with never playing Shin Megami Tensei. Like, by all accounts, I mean, A, it's a super hard game to even get access to, right? Like, it's on a, they're on like very old like platforms. I, I don't think any of them are on the PS4 or any of like the, the newer gen stuff or PC for that matter. Um, two, by all accounts, the gameplay is lame as hell. Like, it's very, very unpolished and frustrating. So, like, there's just so many mechanics that are just so obnoxious. I don't think that's really a... I don't think it's a really valid criticism to say that, oh, you never played Shin Megami Tensei. Like, I'm, nobody's played it for very good reason. It's just not... It hasn't aged well at all. I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, not playing those games, but... Um, and... Talking about how sh people claim the Shin Megami Tensei fanbase is toxic. It can't be. Like, it very much tends to be, or not tends to be, but a lot of times the Shin Megami fanbase is extremely toxic. I don't think, I don't think anyone's really arguing, would even argue against that. Like, um, moving on. Don't ever say anything not positive about the series because they'll attack you like a bunch of immature spoiled brats. This includes some of the more extreme fan spoiled that came out of spite. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Rizona fan fanbase, a lot of them are very, very young kids, so that's true. It's just, it's just a fact. It's unfortunate, but you know, with, with a game that garners a lot of, a lot of attention from a lot of younger people, which is weird because all the games are M rated, but regardless, they don't just love the series. They devote it to, they devote it to their lives like they were God's gift. Mainly the modern, I'm not gonna use that word or nostalgia, yeah, uh, over glorifying three, four, and five. 
Okay, this doesn't look good with the poster right behind me, but I swear I don't do that. Uh, four words, Morgana and his fandom. Not only do they exalt Morgana, they even exalt Teddy to no end, thus dubbing him as the true persona, true mascot of persona. Has anyone ever actually claimed that? Even when it's not even true, Karmar is the mascot of Persona 3, Teddy is the mascot of Persona 4, and Morgana is the mascot of Persona 5, simple as that. I don't think anyone's ever claimed that Teddy was the mascot of Persona at all. I, I feel like that's just not true. Uh, similar enough, many of them treat characters like Makoto Nijima, slash Queen, and Dub Sakura as his oracle like Blessing from God, which is just stupid. Um, I mean, I guess there are fringe cases like that, but I don't really think that's like a thing that enough people do, or it's annoying enough to be a point against the fan base. And uh, Futaba fans can get out. Some of the fans are somehow weeboos. Some of the fans are somehow weeboos? No. Most, if not all of the fans are weeboos. What the heck? Get your facts here, come on. Number 10. They cannot admit the flaws the Persona games have. In fact, this article can explain. <sighs> Do I even want to go through? Seven things nobody wants to admit of Persona 5. Alright, let's just click through this real quick. Dialogue choices often mean nothing. Yes. Corridor dungeon and design get repetitive fast. Yes. It takes 30 hours to really get going. Kind of, yeah, but like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I think it's worth it in the end, but I mean, it, that's more or less true. There's no real overarching drive or motive. What do you mean? That's very much not true. This this is just not true at all. There's a very clear motive throughout the entire game, which is just reform society and all that. That is not true at all. Um, its core message is delivered very poorly. Problem with Morgana. Um, as mentioned, the driving motive character-wise is to stop those damn adults. I mean, yes, if you want to oversimplify it that much, but being a brick wall to freedom, he ends up inviting everything the Persona fan, Phantom Thieves are supposed to be against. Okay, this is just bitching about how, how Morgana doesn't let you do stuff. It's... I mean, it's just like... It's just like a mechanic they use to like prevent you from doing things you shouldn't be you shouldn't be able to do like with it's like based on story and stuff. I mean that's I don't think I don't think Morgana at all hinders the overall message, and I think the message gets across very well. I I would just straight up disagree with this. I think this is just wrong, in my opinion. Portrayals of Ans feminimid, femininity and sexual border on off uh, border on offensive. Yeah, I mean I think Ans kind of over sexualize a lot. Um, I think that's fair. Over leveling is way too easy. I mean, yeah, but like, if you if you abuse if you like abuse the system that much, and like if you work so hard to min max, then like you know what's wrong with like letting you be way too powerful? Uh, I mean, I don't I don't think that's this is really true. Like a lot when I, even in my first playthrough, I was like way under level. <laughs> okay, that article sucked. Moving on. Uh, they spend a lot of quotes such as delicious pancakes go to sleep. Yeah, they're not funny. Those jokes are not funny at all. Fair enough. A lot of this fandom starts a ton of flame wars with the SMT fans. No, SMT fans, I think, start it way more often, in my, opi in my opinion. Um, from what I've seen. I'm also very biased, though. You know, take my take whatever I'm saying with a whole lot of salt. About as much salt as when a Persona fan says they never played Shin Megami Tensei. Each Persona game is split into th different types of toxic people. Scenario so Persona 5, many P fan, P5 fans like the game so much that they would stay stuff like Persona 3 and 4 are trash. In fact, they never gave the games a chance. Yeah, I've seen that. Persona 4 fans can live Persona 5 being too dark. I mean, maybe like within like the first few weeks of its release, but I don't think it's really something people still complain about. Persona 3 fans bought her because of Persona 4 and 5 being far better games. Wow, okay. Um... I mean, that's just like your opinion, man. I do think they're better, definitely. I think the combat and like the gameplay is much better, but I know a lot of Persona 3 fans who claim it's the best. Um... All right, well, okay. While this part of the fandom may be smaller, Persona 1 and 2 fans are bought here because they are over Shepard 3, 4, 5. All right, fair enough. They, I mean, they definitely are, but it's because the games are better. The games just aged better, and they... Um, someone engaged in shipping conflicts? I mean, yeah, but like, those are just kids. Leave them alone. Let them ship wherever they want. Except for Futaba. Again, Futaba fans didn't leave. Humongous hypocrites, they blame A1 Pictures for ruining Persona 5's animation. Even though, even though Persona 5 animation was made by Cloverworks, not A1 Pictures. Fine, whatever. Whoever made that... Steaming pile of trash is their fault. Yeah, some of the fans praise A1 Pictures for Fairy Tale Sora Online, Black Butler, Seven Daily Sins. They made your life, April. I mean, it's objective fact that Persona 5 the animation looked like looked like dog shit. Like, 
It's not, it's not a, I mean, it's just a, okay, well, I mean, it's an opinion, but like, an overwhelming majority of the people who watch it will, will agree that the, the anime looks terrible. And there's nothing inherently wrong with pointing that out. They keep hating on Marie, who's from Persona 4 Golden, for sometimes rude behavior, yet they don't do it as much for Mr. Moruka, who is a lot more rude and flawed. Okay, yeah. But like, Maruka dies so early on, like, what's there to complain about? What's the point in complaining about someone who's dead for like the majority of the game? Well, what? And so, as for the, the hate, um, if that is a thing, which I'm not entirely convinced it is, um, they most of them are toxic SMT fans who mock his own fan. And like, okay, in, in, in the, in, we were just talking about how. Persona fans are so toxic to SMT fans, now they're saying that SMT fans are so toxic to Persona fans, I don't know. I think Persona is a Joshua ripoff, that's, I, if you say that, shut up. <laughs> I'm glad they pointed out how dumb that is. Um, they call anyone who likes Persona a weeboo, waifu, a circle jerker, and normie, who, when not at all of the fans are none of that. Um, yeah, there's so many Persona fans who are normies, but yeah, it's, it's not an all encompassing thing, so I'm glad they recognize that. And on that, some of them label the game's fans as, which is homophobic. Yeah. Um, when Jericho was announced as a DLC in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, many of the haters said, Who invited this asshole? No one asked for him to be in Smash. He's not a popular game character. Um, blah, blah, blah. Also, Persona 5's war reviewed game. Yeah, that's the one thing. It's like, I don't think anyone can actually argue against Persona 5 on the merits of, like, the game itself. Like, anyone's, anyone who's played the game will, will say that it's, it's, like, such a great game. So, alright. Uh, yeah, so some Smash stuff, fair enough. Um, some of them use too many waifus line as an excuse to like dislike Persona is indeed left and toxic, I'd agree. Some of them hate the series simply because the fans, fair, but I think that the fanbase can get so toxic that it's somewhat valid. Some of the uh, haters are CWs because Cosmic Show Thighs or even this. You know what's worse? Moral guardians, conspiracy theorists, or religious nut jobs hate Persona because their religious views and how they are included in Pokemon and Gravity Falls. Uh, what are they talking I, I have no idea what they're talking about. Some deep fandom things. Persona is not part of the Megami Tensei franchise. Okay, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna delve into that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna open up that Pandora's box. Some were former fans until they discovered that the Persona games were a spinoff of Shin Megami Tensei series. That's pretty dumb. If that's true, I mean, and I, I mean, they don't. Not that they need to cite their sources, but I. I don't know if that. I've, I haven't seen anything like that. Some may be part of the Christianity. Here. That some of them hate Vic. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Due to the fact that Ko and Junpei are voiced by Vic, this will apply to Vic voicing Igor in Arena Ultimax. I'm not gonna open up that this discussion about Vic, about Kick Vic versus whatever. That's that's not something I want to talk about. Annoying YouTubers like Simply Dead spread their bias against Persona series and mocks French franchise fans, even if they're innocent. Yeah, I, th I mean I don't know who that is. I've never seen any of Simply Dead's videos. Um, but I think there's a, there's a lot of hate online, unlike YouTube and stuff. So, okay. Well, I mean, I, I think that, at the very least, it's, you know, they, they do both sides. So, that's fair. Why some of them are looking cool. Redeeming qualities. Overall, both sides seem to actually respect opinions. Good. Uh, some are mature fans who have good reasons why they like the series. Some may have valid reasons why they like one of the games. They still have a lot of... Uh, can I add an else there? Still a lot of wonderful fan art. Some Persona memes can't be funny. No, they can't. No, there's no... I haven't seen a funny Persona meme. Uh, some do get along with Shin Megami Tensei fans. That's kind of rare. <laughs> a lot of them don't spoil the game. Okay, I that, feel like that's one of the minimums. Uh, not all the fans are weeaboos. Yes, just a lot of them are. Some still understand the series as an SMT spin-off. That's an objective fact. And if you deny that, you're just an idiot. Um, some acknowledge that the first two games still exist. They do? Some are civil towards the series. Be dumb. Well, I, it's, it feels so weird saying that word. Some mature haters still exist. Hate art is non-existent. Some may have a valid reason why they like the series, and there are there are some. Hate, no, I'm not gonna. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna stop saying that. It can sometimes be hard to find. Yeah, because it's not like there's not there's not like an organized group. You know, like if if you want if someone asks like, oh yeah, tell me about yourself, you're not gonna say you're a friend of Persona hate on. It doesn't. Whatever. Some are fine with Joker joining Smash. Yeah, it was most it was like overwhelmingly positive. Not all the haters are conspiracy theorists. As you just, Whatever, man. They do have a point about the series' possible flaws. Yeah, I mean, they're out there. They're right that the fans can be toxic. Yep, they're right about the Persona 5 anime having some bad qualities. Yeah, and the anime's terrible. That's just... <laughs> oh, only $300 to buy the English dub, though. So, you got that going. Okay. Well, I mean... 
I think a lot of these points I would more or less disagree with. I think that, I think generally speaking, it, it's very nitpicky, I would say, but I, I will say that it does do a good job of telling both sides of the story. Um, in conclusion, I guess if I had to say one thing, I would say that uh, Kawakami's best girl. I don't know how to end the video.